days video. So I have all my lipsticks here and I'm going to declutter some because there's a lot in here and I don't wear some and there are a few really old ones that just need to go and some similar shades which I could whittle down a bit really. We'll see how we get on because I know me and lipsticks. I just do. So I have my wipes and everything ready and what I'm going to do is just separate these into liquid lipstick, glosses, etc, etc and then I'll come back with you. So they're all separated now. I'm going to be doing a lot of stretching over because it's just one small bed and me. So yeah, okay, so I'm going to go through the glosses first. Now I'm reckoning I'm going to be keeping most of these anyway and I have eight of them one person needs eight glosses apparently anyway so this one is a makeup obsession and it's just a top off now I started filming a little bit ago and then stopped again because it was a mess and I don't like to put content out like that in fact I won't so you won't be seeing that because it was a it was a car crash for better of the word well, but the word I'd say was a shit show so there we go so I'm just going to swatch these sorry I just swatched that randomly didn't I didn't tell you what it was no didn't do that one did I okay that one's a high heart revolution uh, lip gloss and it's a pale sort of pink which I'll show you in a moment okay let's do the first three So, as you can see, pale sort of pink, and they've got like a shimmering topper which has got glitter in, which I like, and it's really nice on top of lipsticks. And this one here, which is that darker pink there. I am going to be keeping those anyway. And I've got this deep purple one here, which is an I Heart Revolution, and it has a shade though called Meteor. Now, this one is quite streaky and being a dark colour it's it's not the best to be honest see how streaky that is I'm not really certain with that but I'm going to keep it this time round and see what I'm thinking next time so another I Heart Revolution here which was gifted to me a chocolate raisin. This really smells chocolate. Oh, it smells so gorgeous. Just want to eat it. <laughs> it will taste revolting. <laughs> okay, so that one's like that shade there. Similarish to that one, but not too much. I have this other Revolution one, which also looks quite similar. This one isn't the chocolate one. Oh, it does smell of sweet, so, which is really nice, actually. Yeah, that one's... Actually, that's fairly similar to... to that one, if you can see. But it's just slightly darker, so that's fine. And that one was also gifted to me. I think that one was. I know one of them ones were. Also, is another lip topper, which came with a liquid lipstick from Amazon their find range this one's all right it's just a general glittery clear gloss don't know why i'm swatching it to be honest and um, it's making loud noises and that is just there like that and i am going to keep that because it is really nice on top of lipsticks and this one is another pink similar to them three. Oh my word. I picked this one up from Home Bargains and it was a pound and it's the Olivia Hale one. And this is really nice. It's not sticky, it's got pigment, it's really gorgeous. I really like this one. I haven't worn it for a long time, but yeah, I'm going to keep it. Right. I'll just wipe those off my hand and I will go in with the micellar water if I need to. Oh wow, that one seems like it's a liquid lip, that purple. Because it's taken a bit of work to rub off. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with these bombs. Now, these are just staying because this one is part of the south range. And this one is in... I'm sugar something. I'll pop it here. And this is gorgeous. I really do like this. Um, it's not um, something that's really pigmented, as you'd expect from a balm. But it is so nice when you pair it with the lip liner, which is here. Has this got a actual built-in lip liner sharpener? No, it has not. Uh, anyway, that is just, I'm going to swatch that. Now, what I tend to do is I fill my lips in and line them with the liner and then I pop that on top and it gives it a little more colour. And I really like it. It's really nice. Another one I picked up from Primark, it was in the sales section. I think I paid about a pound for it, is this one. Now, I can't find a shade name or anything. Not sure it has one. No, I don't think it does. This is sort of another lip balmy product and it's squished. And why are you squished? Let's just wipe that and try again. Yeah, it's gone squished on top. No clue. Now, that one for a balm is quite pigmented. There's a lot of pigment in that, and I really do love this. It's really nice. A shame I couldn't find any other colours. Smells a bit like Play-Doh, but it's really nice. I do really like it. And I have two little minis here. Now, there should be three little minis. I've got an Illamasqua one, which I'll be keeping. But for the life of me, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. It's possibly in the drawers over there, which are an absolute tick. And I need to sort my palettes out because I had them in a nice order. And then you know how it is. You take palettes out. You don't put them back in properly. You think, I'll do it later. And later never comes and you never do it. And then it's all a mess. And it's it just looks terrible. So I have to sit here and sort that out. Anyway, on to the video. This is a Laura Mercier, a Laura Mercier one. And it is a... Stunning red. I love this. I'd forgotten how pretty it is. It's more of a pink toned red. But it is so nice on the lips. It's beautiful. I really do like it. It's very creamy. It's nice. It's easy to apply. And this one is a Bare Minerals one. And I love this one too. It's a nice pink shade there. As you can see, I've used it a bit. The Illamasqua one is more of a brownie nude, as I remember, and I really like that one too. And this Bare mineral one, Bare mineral, Minerals one, I will be able to talk at some point. <laughs> and that is a pink colour and it's gorgeous. It really is nice. I love those. They are stinging. Oh dear, I hope you've got a drink and a snack. I can feel this one being a long video. I really can. Okay, so I have here, when this lid pops itself back on, some crayon lipsticks, crayon type. Not actual crayons, so that would be a bit weird. And I have this one from Amazon. Actually, I've got three here from Amazon. Just these three. I should actually have four, but for the life of me, I can't find a fourth one. I don't know if I actually got rid of it already. I'm not entirely sure. No, no idea. Let's move along. So this one is a sort of a deep plum. Now, this is where I'm going to have to test deep plums. So I'm going to pop that there because I've got quite a lot of deep plum lipsticks. This one is a brown shade. And this one, I have another two of these. 
Yeah, I don't know where they are. Honestly, I do not know where they are. No clue. Sorry about that. I just don't have a clue. Anyway, that's a nice deep, really deep pink. Uh, the brownish, sort of pinky brown in a way. And then that pink shade there. No, that's a mauve shade. So, yeah, I do like these. I am going to be keeping them for the moment. I think they're okay. Yeah, they're not old, so, you know, they're all right. But I'm not actually sure if I'm going to keep them permanently. Maybe it's something I'm going to be decluttering on the next declutter for the lipsticks. Because I know me and lipsticks. I can't stop. I see a pretty colour and off I go. Anyway, this one is the Rimmel Last Colour Colour Rush, and I've got three of those. This one, I had this, by me. I think this is three years old. I kid you not, this is about three years. And I used to use it all the time. Smells fine, smells like candy floss. And actually, it feels nice as well. So, I am going to be keeping that one. This one, I've also had for about two, three years. Something like that. The writing's wore off now. And I haven't used a hell of a lot of this. And that is a gorgeous pink shade. I'm going to keep that. Because I do like these. And this one also. And the lids are broken a bit on two of them. And this one shade is um give me a cuddle something along them lines i know it's something cuddle and i like that a lot so that's staying and yeah i'm not sure if it's picking up the way it is in person but it's more of a peachy pink rather than a pinky pink which is showing up here and then you just got those two there and they are beautiful and I love them all so they're going to stay the next one is this from Astor and I thought it would be a peach but it's actually more of an orange but I really do like this shade it's so nice it's a bit lighter in person than you're seeing here and it's a gorgeous shade and I'm also going to keep that one and so far, I've got rid of zero. Right, let's get down to bullet lipsticks, because this is where it's at. I know I'll probably get rid of a few of these. So I first have these MUA colour switch, where it's got the gloss at one end and the bullet lipstick on the other end. I've had these five years, probably more. Um smelling a bit waxy to be fair i'm not really keen on that color either yeah smelling a bit waxy in my opinion i think these have gone over i've got a pink lipstick somewhere and a bullet one this is not very organized i have no clue where some of these lipsticks have gone they've just walked yeah, that doesn't smell too great either. It's just a bit of a gloss. You've seen a gloss before in a brown shade. I'm not going to swatch that. And this is also one of them in a pink shade. I did wear this at one point quite a bit, but I don't seem to wear it anymore. Also smells like a wax crane. I'm thinking these have gone over. not going to actually i will swatch this gloss just so you can see and it's so pretty as well that gloss is really gorgeous really do like it but yeah that's not spending too good yeah i'm going to get rid of those they're going because they don't smell too great and i don't use them anymore and even if it did, they still don't smell great, so they're going. Okay, down to these bullet ones. First, I'm going to pick out the Maybelline 
these two here. One of them is called Plum Passion and the other one is called Midnight Blue. Plum Passion is a really pretty shade. Smells fine. I don't have any problems with the smell there. Now because it's a plum I want to put it on the side a minute and check all my plums. Check all my plums, okay. <laughs> check all the plum shades rather and see which ones are going so that's a plum shade this one is a really gorgeous deep bluey purple although it's more on the purpley side however this looks however that looks it is very patchy on the lips it's just patchy it's rubbish so i am going to let that go because it is really that bad i'm not even going to bother to compare it with the other plum lipsticks i'm just not right if i keep that in there i'll know what i'm doing no that's got to go there okay so another plum shade i picked this up from the pound shop and it's model zone and where is the shading? I do know it has one. Uh -huh. uh, Winkle. It's called. And that looks like that. Now, I really do like this, although I've not used it much. I like the fact it's thin like this. I do. I really like that. It gives a nice application, but it is a plummy shade, and it's going over there. The next plum shade I have is this from Essence. And it's just shade 19 in the, let's see, Ultra Last Instant Colour. Very dark. This one is okay on the lips. It actually looks alright. I'm keeping that because it's not the same sort of plummy shade as the other ones I've got. So I am keeping that straight away. I'm not going to even check on that. Um, actually, I have not got the plum shades I thought I had. Wow. I thought I had more than that. I really haven't. Here's another one. I really like this one. Collection one, this one. And it's in the shade Aubergine Kiss. Now, this is such a gorgeous plummy colour. And I bought this at the time. I wasn't going to buy any more lipsticks. And then I caved in. But that is really nice. And I am keeping that one. So, so far, rid of two not going well it's just not going well and that is actually the plum lipsticks i thought i had more clearly not i think what happened is i had some mua ones and one or two of those and i got rid of them anyway straight away because some was a bit crap bit old so i'm going to swatch these again and see which one I want to keep because I'm not keeping three of the same sort of plummy shades I am just not so this one could go it could end up going I very much doubt it somehow because the other one's more of a pink plum and then I've got this one which I've had a long time anyway yeah I have had that a hell of a long time and it's a bit sheer, to be fair. So, I've got the Amazon one there. The Model Zone there. I think that's how I did it. And the last one there is a Maybelline. And looking at it, I like them all. <laughs> okay, colour decided. Yeah, I'm going to keep two of them. And the ones I'm going to keep is the Model Zone and the Maybelline one. And I'm going to get rid of this Amazon one. I'm not overthrown with the formula anyway, and that's 
loose. So that's going to go. Right, not many left. Okay, I've got some sofons here. Two in the shade cake. Oh yeah, I'm using one, aren't I? That one's a new one and I'm going to put that in there because that's a backup. This one I am currently using, which I adore. You've seen this so many times, I'm not going to swatch it. And this one, I'm going to pop back there because that goes back in the makeup bag, is in the shade Syrup. And I thought this would be a sort of a deep brown and it ends up coming in at poop colour. That's the only way I can say it. That is poop colour. I don't like it. It looks horrible on the lips because it's just weird. And so I am going to let that go. Yeah, a soft lipstick is going. Because that just looks like poop. No, it's not a good look. Um, Next one actually i'm going to show these two from revolution which i can't stand um one of them here is a matte pink now i thought i'd enjoy this it's revolution pro in the shade rebellious and it's a pale pink now what is wrong with this because there should be everything right with it is that just looks like concealer on my lips to be honest, it just looks like concealer. And I really hate it and I'm going to let it go. That's in the shade cake. Oh yeah, makeup bag. And this next one, I wanted a nice peach and I didn't get one. Um, This is a revolution one as well. Can't think, I don't know what shade it is actually because that is so tiny. There's no way, I, no way of reading it. But... I don't know whether it's because it's a matte lipstick, I'm not sure, but it looks a nice shade, actually it looks like poop there, there you are, you can see it now, it looks like someone's put paint on my lips, poster paint, what kids use, it just looks like poster paint, I hate it, it's horrible, it's going to go. Next two lippies I have are Revlon. And these are staying without a doubt. One I was gifted and it's in the shade Rosewood of which I adore. I love Revlon lipsticks. They are so nice. I want some more. And apparently I heard that Revlon are discontinuing their range. I think they're discontinuing certain ranges or they're going. I think they're actually going, and which is such a shame. But Revlon don't really change with the times like other companies, so maybe they've just shot themselves in the foot. And this one is Cherries in the Snow, which is a really iconic shade, and if I remember rightly, from the 50s. And it is beautiful, so pretty, so... Yeah, and I have pink ones in there already like that. Let's have a look. I'm going to have a look because if I've got something very similar, some of it can go. Can... Similar-ish. That's going. No, not going to keep it. I'm going to be that ruthless. And... I think I've got another sort of pinky shade. And I had another essence one. Not a clue where I put it. I don't know. It's like socks in the washing machine. You put in pairs of socks in the washing machine and then you get singles back. It, it's gone to that kind of level. That one, no, I love that too much. And it's more moon. No, it's not. It's more purple. <laughs> I've lost a plot. I really have. Uh, yeah. It's these, I think. Yeah, it's one of these black ones. Bear with. Bear with. Here we go. I'm going to just pop that on the top there. 
because these are not the greatest formula to be honest yeah look how similar that is in fact i like that better than that one yeah i'm getting rid of that and i'm going to bring back this because i do like them better so that can go and that's just what i picked out and that's what i'm going to do so they're going in there because they've kept We still have liquid lipsticks to go at. This one I've got is the Lustre range from Primark. And without a doubt, although I've got black on it because I used a black eyeliner to line my lips and fill them in and then put this on top. Just for a video, I think. So... That looks... a uh, more of a red red than a pink red but it, it kind of pink tones there but gorgeous love it really nice lipstick told a lot of times when i wear it how nice it looks so it's staying this one is going nowhere because this is my only bullet mac lipstick and it's staying and that come out of the calendar last year of asos from asos love this shade Oh, it smells like candy floss. No, not candy floss. The ring donuts you get at the fairground that have um, fried and all covered in sugar. Oh, it smells like that. Anyway, that is the shade. It's beautiful. I love that. It's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And in the words of Nikki, you'd have to prize it from my cold, dead hands. So it's going nowhere. This one, however, is that brown yucky mess, in my opinion, from Amazon. And I'm going to let that one go as well. I don't really like these that much. They're okay when you first get them, but then they go a bit bleh. And no, I'm not keeping it. So, wow, I've got rid of three, four, five. Hang on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. That's not bad. That's not bad going. So I've got this pack of four here, which I got. And these are the... Um, these are fit colour from a Chinese brand. I have no clue who. And these are really nice. I like these a lot. And I like the Dofa because it's one of them flat top one sort of thing and these are really nice and this video is 32 minutes already and um, these are going nowhere because these are not old really and i like them a lot i've not used them in a little while but i do like them i'm not going to be throwing any of these away Although this looks very patchy on the swatch, it's really not on the lips. This purpley one, just another shade which is a purple. Also looks a bit patchy on the swatch, but it's really not on the lips. And these have got like a sheen to them. Sort of like a glitteriness-ish. And they dry down really quickly and they're really lovely. Now, I have a problem with liquid lipsticks anyway because they don't stay on as long as most people manage to keep liquid lipstick on. But it doesn't stop me trying. I've done everything. I've exfoliated my lips. I've put lip balm on before apply them. I've put lip balm on and then wiped it off before I apply them. I have done it all. Will they stay on past an hour or two? No. Do they flake on me? Yes. Does it annoy me? They're hell out of me. So, I've got these sort of ready plummy shades. And I have been looking for a blood red lipstick for the longest time because... I had a bullet red lipstick in blood red shade and it was stunning and I used it up and I can't find it anymore. I can't remember what brand it was so that's not helping. 
I can't even remember the shade. So you can see that is not helping at all. I can't find it anywhere. I also had a really deep purple, which was called Black Rid Widow. Not Widow. <laughs> Black Widow. And uh, that was Bourgeois. And I can find that, but it's going to be old. Because I did discontinue that. I really can't speak today. So I have this one here. I'm not the biggest fan on this kind of applicator. Uh, this one, however, smells of chocolate. So that's always a win-win. And this one is the Ultra Matte Lipstick Le, Ch Le Chocolat L'Oreal Paris. I said that in a completely weird order, so excuse that. That is gorgeous. It's not blood red, but I really like it. However, it does not dry down totally, and it still has a bit of a stickiness to it, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I'm going to try this with a gloss over the top and just wear it like that because uh, I do like the colour a lot, it's just such a beautiful red I can't bring myself to get rid of it and I just really like it so I'm going to just put a gloss on top and wear it that way because I can't wear it without a gloss because it's just slightly tacky all the time and I don't like that in the lipstick but it stains this one is a revolution one and it, wow, you can't see the writing on it because it's so dark. So this one is a deep purple and it looks patchy and it wears patchy. It's hard to get a coverage with that, it's really nice and I don't really like it to be honest so I'm going to get rid of that. This one is also Revolution from the Halloween range, I think, a year or two ago. I just love the look of that packaging. So nice. And I thought, oh, it's a blood red because it looked blood red online. It is sort of blood red. It does go on better than this swatch is doing. It dries down. Still does the old thing like every liquid lipstick does on me, but that's not the fault of the lipstick. And it, it, yeah, you can see it's sort of a blood red. Not quite as close, but, you know, that is close enough for me. So, yeah, it is a bit more plummy based than it is a red, but, yeah, I like it. I always call it blood red. I could say wine red, but that's a bit more plummy in my opinion. But that is also a bit plummy. Who knows? So, <laughs> I'm keeping that one. These next two are Rimmel Stay Matte ones. I like these, mainly because of the colours. They're just so different, and I just like them for that. Uh, they're okay. They're not the best, but they're not the worst either. Um, one is a blue shade, which isn't swatching great, but it does actually work on the lips quite well. And the other one is a grey, which I like just for it being different. And they're at the top there. And yeah, I really like those and they are going to stay. Another Revolution lipstick in this shade, da -da -da, Siren. I like that. Look at that. I do like that packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. I really do like this one. I did a TikTok and a Instagram short, or just a TikTok with this. And yeah, I do love it. Really do like it. So that's going to stay. I have this one. So this one is Wet and Wild, the liquid cat, cat suit one, and it's a pale peachy tone sort of one. I picked it up for about three pound, I think. And uh, yeah, it looks like that. 
It's nice. I like it. It's still the same weird thing, but I do like it. It is really nice. So that's that. Oh, I'm going to have a drink because I am dry. Oh, I needed that. Oh, isn't it just a relief? Especially if you've gone somewhere and you've not got anywhere selling drinks or anything and you're really thirsty and then you get that favourite juice you like or just water at that particular time and oh, it's so nice, isn't it? When you finally get that drink. Okay, moving on. This is the liquid lipstick to that topper I showed you earlier from Amazon, from their find range and stop chuffing my leg because I'm going to deaden it and this is a really nice shade it is a little bit patchy when you pull it on but it's workable and I do like that shade a lot I also like the Wet n Wild one, which I'm thinking I'm preferring the shade to this one. It's more corally, but I'm not really certain on it. I'm going to pop it in here now to keep, but we'll see when I do this again if I'm going to keep it. This one is an Ofra lipstick, which I got gifted. And it's in the shade Nude Potion. And I haven't really worn this a lot, to be honest. I haven't really worn it a lot. But there it is. And it's nice. I do actually like that nudie pink. It's really nice. I'm keeping that. Also a gifted lipstick. I absolutely adore this packaging. Look at that. It's so beautiful. This one is Nabla lipstick. And Hedonist is the shade. And I'm wearing this today. So I'm swatching it even though I'm wearing it. As you can see. I like it. That one there. I like it because it doesn't dry down like liquid lipsticks do. So it's kind of a creamy liquid lip. And I prefer that to be honest. I like that better and it stays on really well so yeah I'm keeping that for sure because I want more from that range because I really like this. Another lipstick it does the same like that is this one from MAC and this was also gifted to me because I've got some very kind friends and this one is Molly Tova. And this one does the same as this one here. It don't dry down to a full matte. It's a creamy kind of formula. And I do prefer it a lot. And this one lasts on my lips. It really does. And I adore this. What I am not a fan of, however, one, the formula is a little bit thick, so it can be tricky to work with. And two, the dofa. I'm not a big fan. But I work with it, and it's all right. And it's a very similar shade to that. Uh, yeah. It's alright. Similar shade to the Nabla one, but I'm not getting rid of Not Nabla. Um, Ofra one, but I'm not getting rid of it. And that is like that. If you can see what I mean. It's there. Uh, similar shade. I like it. I like this one a lot. To get me to get rid of MAC lipsticks you'd have to prize them from our cold dead hands just like Nicky Raymond says so yes I'm a copycat but if a phrase is good enough for one person you know steal it if you want to <laughs> just steal it anyway this is also a gifted lipstick in the shade crush and it's from Laritzi I've also got an eyeshadow palette from this brand and I'm losing space, so it's a good job I'm wrapping this video up in a moment. And this is a really nice shade. I've only worn it a couple of times. And I'm pretty sure it's one of those dry down ones. But it is actually a comfortable one. 
because some liquid lipsticks dry down so much to dry your lips out and I'm not a fan of that but yeah I really like it that's staying and the last lipstick if you stayed this long well done so this one is the Essence Stay Matte 8 Hour Wear. Does it stay on my lips for 8 hours? Does it heck? And uh, it's in the shade Let's Chill. And I'm not too sure of the shade anymore because I've not worn it for a while. Oh, it's a berry shade. Oh, that's a lovely one. That really is. I've not got rid of any liquid lips. Oh, one. Okay. I really like that. It's the bottom one here. That is gorgeous. That is stunning. That is staying. It's going nowhere as usual. So I'm going to just clean my hands and I'll be back with you. Okay, I can't clean that off with my cellar water. It's still there. It's like an unbudgeable mess. So I've got to sort that out with an oil-based product so it will come off. Let's have a look at this. Wow, 48 minutes long on lipsticks. That is crazy. I'm bound to be able to cut this down to a bit less. So I'm getting rid of all that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven lipsticks I'm going to get rid of. Now I can't pass these on to anyone because I'm not certain you can sanitize these. So I'm going to let these go and a couple of them are very old so nobody's going to want those. So they're going to go. don't think I did great. To be honest, I did not. I can't let things go no matter what. And I oh, right. this is actually it looks less full than it did. So not bad. Not a bad at all. So I don't know how many I'm keeping. I'll pop it here for you. And that is the end of the video. So if you have made the end of this video, please pop in a Halloween emoji in the comments section. Um, have you seen all this? Done all this Halloween stuff. Oh, that took me forever on the door. Honestly, it did. That Halloween sign was a pain. And I was turning the air blue because <laughs> it just wasn't working. Like, oh my god, I need to throw it out the window. So, anyway, so I've got all that over there. Do you like those bats? I'm really happy with them bats, honestly. Anyway, so this is about as Halloween as this display is going to get. <laughs> and I've moved the back display to here because over there it just wasn't showing up. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Please do all the good stuff. It really does help out my channel and helps me be recognised on YouTube and helps with all the algorithm and everything. Please, if you would like to, please, con um, please consider supporting me on my channel by pressing that subscribe button. I will see you again next time for a beauty related content or crafting I am going to be attempting some Halloween looks if time allows to be honest the idea was I would do Halloween looks this year and I've even said I'd do some collaborations with people that have asked but this year might not go with that it just might not I'm disappointed but you know it is what it is but I should be able to do a couple so fingers crossed there Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. I will see you soon. Goodbye.